it's Travel Tip Tuesday. My name is Lori. Today I want to talk about why you should cruise. Ten reasons to book a cruise. Now I know everyone has their feelings about cruises and some people have already decided that's not the vacation for them. But take a minute and listen to me today because I think you might learn some reasons why cruising might be the vacation for you. I personally love it and let me just share some of the reasons why. Number one, a cruise vacation is a good value. And what I mean by that is it includes your food, your accommodations, your daytime and evening entertainment, and sometimes you'll see a lot of free promotions going with the sale of cruises. Just, uh, for example, uh, there was just a sale for free airfare if you booked a cruise to Hawaii. I mean, that's fabulous. Airfare to Hawaii is usually the bigger expense. A lot of times you'll see promotions where kids get to sail for free. Also, there's promotions where you'll get a free shipboard credit. That means you get to sail and they give you money to spend on board the ship for anything that you might want. Number two, for my favorite reason, is you get to visit multiple destinations. Now, for example, I cruised in July. It was my 10th year anniversary, and I flew to Venice, and then I sailed to every Greek island, and then back to Venice. So I not only got Italy, but each island in Greece, and I got to see multiple destinations on one cruise. I've even been on cruises before that it, it depends on how long you want to cruise. I've done Italy, Spain, and, and France all in one cruise. So there is a benefit to those multiple destinations. Also, cruise ships are family friendly. And let me tell you, back in the day when I used to bring my kids on vacation with me, they absolutely loved cruising. There's all types of ways for them to have fun. The teenagers have a teen disco. The kids have time in the disco as well. They have a kid pool, they have a teen pool. And I know if you have children, there's nothing like when they get to play in the same group that of their age with and especially teenagers that really makes their vacation more fun and cruises come in all shapes and sizes now let me explain that to you they have big oasis class ships like on rural caribbean that have rock climbing walls and on norwegian that has go-kart racing they have the the body surfing they have uh, amazing different actual different cities within one city. They also have expeditions which are smaller, maybe go to the Galapagos, a little, a little different type of a cruise. They'll have a smaller one that maybe goes to Alaska. And then they have luxury cruises which is a big ship still but very small personnel to person ratio. So you get that extra special attention. And then they even have like star clipper sail ships that you actually can do a little work on them while you're sailing. So be sure to look at all the different types of cruises and, and you can find out the one that actually works best for you and what you're looking for on your vacation. Number five, ships offer a variety on board. You can sit at the pool and read a book while your kids are playing basketball or rock climbing, uh, rock wall climbing. You can also uh, have an educational lecture. One of the things I've done on a cruise before is I learned all about diamonds, which is something I really need to know, right? But I learned all about them in one of the educational lectures about diamonds. I also learned all about shopping at the next port of call. But you can also learn Microsoft, maybe a Mac class, different types of um, personal enrichment. Depending on your cruise type, they offer different things like this. Also, they'll offer things like yoga, or maybe a sushi class, sushi making class, or a live music show where you just want to sit back and listen to a band or piano bar. Now, have I got you ready for cruising yet? Because we're only halfway through. Number six, cruise vacations are easy to plan. This is a really big one. That means you pack once, you pick your ship, you pick your itinerary, pick which cabin you want, and away you go. It's that easy. And that is the beauty of cruises. Group cruises also work very well. Like let's say you have a family reunion. It eliminates the hassle of coordinate, coordinating 20 family members to all get together. Where are they gonna 
where are they going to go, what city are we going to meet. It's all together on one cruise ship and there's lots of activities you can plan on board the ship to do together as well. But group cruise is a whole nother topic and I'll probably do that one at another time. Number seven, ships are floating cities. I want you to realize you'll have Wi-Fi, TV, there's shopping, multiple restaurants, gym, and swimming pools. This is a city that's actually floating and you still get all the amenities as if you went to a destination visiting a particular city. But you get more destinations. Number eight, and something you may not realize with cruises, is you can plan an exotic vacation which means if you're nervous about the language, maybe you're going to an unfamiliar destination like Asia, a place in Asia, Thailand, maybe in the Middle East, I've seen several that uh, cruises that go out of Dubai even, you won't have a language barrier if you do it on a cruise and you get multiple destinations. That's another great idea, along with the Galapagos for, or even Antarctica, different types of cruises, so make sure you're exploring all of them. Number nine, cruising is romantic. And like I said, I did my anniversary on a cruise and I truly did find it romantic. You could have candlelight dinners, you could stroll on the deck and watch the stars and the moon. You could watch the moon and it goes all on the ocean and the stars in the sky is absolutely beautiful. Being on the top deck at night on a cruise is just unbelievable romantic you can also do vowel renewals and weddings on board a ship so you can consider those as well and number 10 cruising is social and this is so true you'll probably you can have the option to sit at a larger table where you can meet friends and it could be the person next to you is maybe from amsterdam Paris, you get to be friends, and sometimes I've had lifelong friendships from people I met on cruises, and not just me, my kids as well. When they're in the teen disco with all their friends, they'll build a relationship with somebody that they'll stay in touch with for years. So I hope this helped you just to see some of the great reasons why cruising is such a great deal and a good option for your next vacation.